Hey everyone, it's Shayna. I am here with another plan with me. I have my friend Jamie here, who is also, um, I think I mentioned it in my last plan with me with Christine, also part of my um, group, a Marco Polo group. Um, and this is her gorgeous planner. Still in the works. <laughs> You're still setting it up, yes. right? Yeah, okay. So if you wanna go through your planner. Yeah. Was, everybody's seen mine, so. So 2020 is interesting for me because I am working in a lot of planners um, and it was after a lot of thinking and reflecting on what I wanted in a planner for 2020. So I've used rings before, um, but most recently I was in a mini happy planner and it got, you know, like that thing. Yeah. So you couldn't really do much with it. Um, so I decided either go big or go home. So I'm going big. <laughs> And you didn't want to take your ball and go home. Was... Right. I was ready to just, if this is what I have to carry all day, every day, that is fine. I will work with it. So, um, what I'm going to go with for 2020 is going to be my A5 Kiki K and notice it's black with beautiful rose gold, which I'm obsessed it. over I right love now. Rose gold. So do I. And then I did a little bit of, um, pocket game because with my mini happy planner, there aren't any of the front pockets unless you create them. And it's really just one of those Target dollar spot mm -hmm. pockets and you can't really do much with that. So I'm having a lot of fun with my pocket game. So I've got all kinds of Simply Gilded Washi that I'm gonna use throughout the year. I actually have these tabs, um, these transparent tabs that I'm going to use for things that I wanna do at least once a week. Screen free, face mask, meditation, and then I can put those on whatever day and then reuse them. And then I've got just post-it notes and things like that tucked in here. And then I do also have a really old Planner Society lists booklet that I can use for lists on the go in case I don't want to carry this with me wherever I'm going. Um, I bought a handbag just especially to fit this in. So did you still need to get that? Is that the one that you got from the D-Stash? It must be. Is it yours? Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> So there you go. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I love these dash. Um, so I did make my dashboard myself. It. I wanted to make something that when I opened the book, I felt really happy. Um, and, you know, don't be a lady, be a legend. To me, that is a really cool quote. And that's from Cloth and Paper. I love the washi that you chose. Yeah. Like, it is just so perfect. It's really, yeah, it's really fun. It just makes me happy. And then these are... Um, little stickies from Planner Society, of course, in rose gold, and that, I think, is Planner Society as well. Then I have several dashboards kind of breaking out my different areas. So I have my monthlies underneath this really pretty dashboard, and then I have my 2020 at a glance. Oh, that pocket from Planner yeah, Society. Yeah, this is an old Planner pockets. Society pocket that I really I have some like of those a still. lot. Yeah, there's some that load from the top that are a little bit harder to use, but I really like the ones that load from the side. And then Lineal is one of the shops that I really like. This book, I want it to be really illustrative, kind of watercolory, um, just to have a kind of calming feel yeah. to it. Because in my mini happy planner, I went mini happy planner and it was all the colors and all the things. So this is going to be just a little bit more subdued. Well, and you... Uh, speaking on the watercolor thing, you chose that for your theme, essentially, for yes. all of next year. Yes. So, like, you're kind of limiting yourself on the sticker purchases you make and stuff. Or yeah. in theory. In theory. Well, <laughs> so can that you can kind of go through and get similar things that all kind of match. Yeah. So, this is my sticker book. And so, it's really a lot of kind of that watercolory wash. There's some Planner Society in here. There's lots of Lineal. I've got Irene Plans, um, of course, Simply Gilded, and this one's a little bit different, but these definitely have mm -hmm. the pastel vibes. So um, this is going to be my only sticker book that I'll use throughout the year. And then that way I'm using what I have. Right. So I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, so then I can take this and I've got everything I need then um, for decorating. I love that you did that. Like, I love that you chose a theme for the year. Yeah. Because then that, like... Yes, you're going to maybe be tempted into a couple other purchases, mm -hmm. but for the most part, you're kind of honed in on what you want to do for the year, and then you can know that, well, this doesn't fit that theme that I picked for the year, so no. Mm -hmm. And I think it's only as I became part of these different groups that I thought about what is my style, what is my size, what is my um, impetus to purchase or not purchase, mm -hmm. And I think when you don't have a theme or a style, you end up buying Everything. all the things. <laughs> 
and for me that just um, can't happen. So um, yeah, I think it does, it limits me in a really good way. Right. Um, because I know, and, and also too, you go from one month to the next or one week to the next and it has that same look and feel mm -hmm. and it's not jarring or jolting. Right. So I have my 2020 at a glance from cloth and paper. I love that. And then so I also pretty. have... Is that like just vellum? vellum yeah. Or? But it's thicker. Oh, it's thicker vellum. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah. So it's really nice. I was going to use the color dots to denote the days that we have the kiddos, but um, it doesn't fit on here. So right. I'm going to do that within my months. I like how sometimes people do like... Sorry, I keep cutting you off. No, People it's do good. like... They put a dot on here when January's done. Oh. Yeah, like you use the transparent dot and you just put a dot on there to denote that January is done and then you just keep doing it. Then you know what to direct your eyes mm -hmm. to. That's a really good idea. Mm -hmm. I think I might use that because, of course, I have some cloth and paper dots. Right. right. And then I did my tabs with cloth and paper, so poor hubby had to go out um, late one night and get me the transparent uh, label maker tape so I could finish these up. Um, so I've got my monthly... I love that. Yeah, some of these are from Sweet Deer Stationery. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's, this is from her. This is from her as well, and it's got the nice pocket. Or this Wait. might be Jameson Reed Designs, actually. That's really, like, this, this whole thing was made yeah. with a pocket? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I really like that. So it came with a pocket so I can stick just, just a couple like... of things for on the go. It's super thick, really oh, nice. And like I love that it has Chanel and Dior and, yeah, really fun. And then I did put my own Planner Society pocket on the other side. I've got the amber locket stuff going on up here as well, which I love that even though this zips up, I can still have some top game. And I don't do a ton of top game, but when I do, I like it to be very pretty. Well, it's especially because your zipper kind of protects it, so that's nice. Yeah, totally. Um, and then I go into the months, and I'm going to work on... So one thing I knew I wanted for 2020 is in my mini happy planner, I got the undated. So the monthlies were undated, the weeklies were undated, and I used so many post-it notes and thinking, well, I think this will hit this day, so I'm going to post a mm -hmm. note there, and then I was losing things, and I wasn't tracking things. So I told myself, when I go into 2020, I'm going to have everything on the monthlies and the weeklies already predated. So go. I can just go and write it in, and I am going to be Team Black Pen. And just use black ink. I know, because you've seen my markers in my pens before. So I'm going to... I know. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to do it. So then every time I go somewhere, whatever I do, I'm using only black pen. And it's always going to match because it's always that. Um, so I have January done. I have February that I've started on. And I think I'm going to work on March here today. Um, because I do want to get... And I laid down some stickers that I took up. But... Um, so then I have all of my monthlies dated, and then I got from Irene Plans all of my 2020 weeklies, and I did a week on two pages. Um, I'm going to see how this works for me because my weekend days are a little bit small, and mm -hmm. that's usually when we have all of our kiddo stuff. Mm -hmm. But I do like the habit tracker down at the bottom, and I love some of the notes, and this will be kind of the perpetual to-do list that I don't need to get it done on Tuesday, so when I write it down on Tuesday and I don't get it done, I feel really bad. Yep. Where this will be a little bit more guilt-free. I just know I need to do it within the week. You right. know, like call the doctor within the week. Um, it's and kind so, of this week section. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So then I don't feel as much pressure to do everything mm -hmm. um, each day or like carry it over. Um, so then that's that. And then I do have a finance section. This is from Sweet Deer Stationery as well. I love it. And this as well. Like coziness is so nice. I didn't, I didn't want to get those because they're pre-laminated. Cassie did tell me that you can get it not laminated, but I actually yeah. really like the laminated look now that I I'm know. seeing it more. It's really nice. Yeah, really nice. Um, and then I did another pocket here. I'm all about pockets and organization and places to supply things, or keep things. Sorry, I have cat hair because I've got two, cat, <laughs> two fur kitties at home. Um, oh, that's why my allergies are going off. Is it me? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, that's why. No, it's why. <laughs> But I'm allergic to Oops. cats, and I always forget that you have yeah, cats. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, because I see your cat every day. Yes, my cat likes to make an appearance. Creepy. Well, my cat <laughs> in the morning is the only time she loves me, and she comes and walks around when I'm trying to do my Marco Polos, and like her tail, you'll see her tail going through the video. <laughs> She'll it's be really getting funny. ready, and then you just see a cat butt. <laughs> I'm like, there's Daisy, just saying hi. Um, so under finance, actually, I want to meet with you one-on-one -on -one and yep. talk about how you put together your finances because I think you have such a great way of doing it. For me now, I'm just doing baby steps and tracking mm -hmm. my purchases. Mm -hmm. And then I'm eventually going to get to, I think, the level that you're at where you've got everything written out and kind of what the monthly estimates are and things like that because I think 
that's going to be really good, especially with one kiddo going off to college next year and it's still good. Oh, and um, three more that are soon to follow. So we need to track that down. Oh yeah. Um, then I've got a couple of uh, cloth and paper pockets built in um, in a couple different places. This is a Planner Society doily, just as important. And then I have some date dots in here as well from Charlotte's Paper Company. Um, more lineal in there. And then I do have a fashion section, which you're probably like, why do you need a fashion section in your everyday Everybody carry? Everybody needs a fashion I used to have one. Yeah. And I... I think I'm really going to like it, and the reason I'm going to like it is I'm going to start thinking about a capsule wardrobe. So I have way too much clothing um, that I either don't wear, won't wear, haven't <clears throat> worn, but when I can create a theme and do some work around color scheme and things like that and get myself excited again about the clothes that I have versus thinking I need to go out and buy, buy more some, yeah. is going to be really <clears throat> fun. So. These are from Cloth and Paper, and I just put four of them for each season then in 2020. And I'll start with winter and then go all the way through to fall. Um, and then I'll have my capsule wardrobe picked out for those seasons. And then it'll allow me maybe to donate some clothes. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, really get myself accountable to what I'm doing. Well, I, li I like these inserts a lot. Like, I know mm -hmm. <clears throat> I first saw Cassie have these. And then I was really excited to see you have them, too, because I can see... Like, I've seen people use these, and it still just does not compute in my mind. Mm. I, I can do the capsule wardrobe, it's just the insert itself doesn't compute to me. Like, I know you're supposed to put, like, your colors here mm -hmm. or something, and I just... I don't know why. So I'm really excited to see you fill yeah. them, too. Because yeah. I think I've seen... I don't, no, Cassie never used hers, I believe. Um, or at least if she did, I never saw it. So I'm really excited to see how you use them, because I yeah. want to see how you... You use them, yes, obviously. Yes, <laughs> yes, and I will use them. Um, and just thinking about, as I think about things that I maybe want to purchase, here's what happens. I go to the store, I buy something, I bring it home, and I think this doesn't go with any of the pants I own, any mm -hmm. of the skirts I own, any, it doesn't fit into my wardrobe at all. And so this way I'm holding myself accountable to what I want my wardrobe to look like, and yeah. if it doesn't fit into that scheme, then... It's not coming home with you. No, and then I don't <laughs> buy it. Um, so excited and I'll, I'll definitely keep you updated on how that's working out. Then I have a personal section and I really love this cloth and paper insert because I think it's so easy to write down your own wish list. But then along the way during the year, I'm going to have a wish list for Scott, for the kiddos, and then for myself. And mm. then whenever they say something that they want, for example, Cameron just recently said he wanted a set of bongos bongo drums. Yeah. How would I remember that? Right. <laughs> Luckily his birthday was less than a week later, so I got him a set of bongo drums, but if if he's saying that, you know, in February and his birthday is until November, there's You're no way I'm going to remember. Yeah. So I'm going to have a wish list going or even just things that I think they'll like, write them down so that when I get to this time of the year, I'm not thinking, oh gosh, what am I going to buy for everyone? Well, and that would be helpful too. Like I I was just talking about putting a wish list in my own my planner too because mm -hmm. I've, I've dealt with this since I was a kid. I was just talking to my boss about this, I think, yesterday, where I was talking about how um, one of the presents we got for Liam is a play kitchen because I yeah. always wanted a play kitchen and I never got one. And I said it in that way of like, well, I never got one when I was growing up. And I was like, oh, that's not fair. I never asked for one. Right. Because by the time it came for me to give a Christmas, my, my birthday is right after Christmas. Mm -hmm. So by the time I gave my birthday and Christmas list, I would think this in March and I wouldn't remember. Right. So then I never asked for any of these things. And I still have that problem now where it comes to Christmas and I'm like, I don't know what I want. Right. Exactly. So, <laughs> so think about it throughout like, the year. What do you want? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know. And then, two, you know that I'm very frugal. I use coupons. I get the best deals. I do all of that. So if I create my wish list, then I can have it in here to think about as I see sales. That's true. Versus not just buying it on a whim that I could have gotten a better deal. Right. Um, so it'll... And, and plus, two, I think when you write it down and then you go back and look at it a month later, you might be like, oh, I really wanted that <clears throat> that Thursday four weeks ago, mm -hmm. but I don't want it anymore. So instead of just instant gratification. Well, a lot of you, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my, in my stack of like oh. inserts, I was trying to find the insert that, remember I, I put together just a bunch of pictures from Pinterest? Yeah. To kind of make Your my castle. own style. Yeah. I was trying to find that. I can't find it. <clears throat> oh, darn. That was so cute. I know. I know. I don't know where it went. What but, were we just saying? 
Oh, just wish list. So then if you think, you know, several weeks later, I wrote that down, oh. but I really don't want it. You can so just cross it off. That's one of those things too, that a lot of people have been doing, like that are trying to become more debt free and stuff mm -hmm. or trying to watch their spending is that they write it down. They will, unless, I, mean, I guess it depends on if it's limited or not, but, um, cause the limited edition oh, crap always gets I me, know. always gets me, but they write it down and then they come back to it in a month. And if they don't think it's important anymore, mm -hmm. they don't buy it and yep. it prevents them from buying that. And there's so been I many think I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. There's been many times where I'll buy it and then I'll get it and I'll think, Oh yeah, th that was cool at the time, but why did I get it? Right. Why? What, what am I using better this in for? Theory. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and then I've got a note section. So I've got, um, well, more stickers. And then some cards of some of my favorite shops. I have Plan Your Spoons, which I'm a spoonie, so I use her shop a lot. Irene Plans, Charlotte Paper Co., all kinds of fun ones. And then I did keep in the stickers from the Kiki K, because I think they kind of match my theme. Okay, so yeah. I'll um, potentially use those. And I always, I'm always i a sucker for anything that's just already hole-punched for You're me. Right. That I can just slide <laughs> right in. Um, let's get cozy is perfect for this time of year. And then I've got my canceled and rescheduled stickers, which people might wonder, well, that seems kind of negative, but I've explained to you before that mm -hmm. I am a spoonie. So there are times where I have the best intentions to go out with okay. friends or to do something fun or to whatever it might be, go to an event and I can't because I'm incapacitated with pain. And so these are pretty enough where I can put it over. I can see maybe what it was. Right. And, um, oh, yeah, because they're transparent, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, because I think we talked about in the Marco Polo group, I was really battling that in my mind. Mm -hmm. And do I write it in knowing that chances are maybe 50-50 that I'll make it? And in the end, I want to see what I did do and right. what I didn't do. Right. And see if there's ways, as I'm getting my diagnoses and as I'm working through some stuff, just see what, what I had on my calendar because I think it's always good to know that mm -hmm. I could have been involved. Right. It's I couldn't make it and no one faults me for it. Right. But um so I got some really pretty rescheduled and canceled so I would S like looking at them. So really quick, just mm -hmm. for those that may not understand the term spoonie. Oh sorry, yes. <laughs> just yes. look because I didn't know about it either until yeah. recently ish. So yeah. Yeah, so the spoonie theory is basically somebody who's healthy that doesn't have chronic illness, chronic pain, wakes up in the morning with an endless amount of spoons. And it's just so you can see mm. that tangible, think that mm -hmm. tangible item in your mind. Whereas as a spoonie, we wake up with a limited amount of spoons mm -hmm. and we might have to use up three of our spoons, even just getting up and getting ready. taking a shower yep. or getting ready. Um, and so, you know, by the end of the day, I am what I call all, all at all the spoons because mm -hmm. I went to work and I did kiddo activities and all of that. And so there are some days where I'm not having a good day and I need to stay in bed and I need to take care of my physical health. And so that's really the spoonie theory, just so people can think about right. it in tangible And it's, even, it's like, it's like, um, I don't know if it's specific to silent illnesses where people may not see that anything's yeah. wrong, but I mean, it even includes like depression and yes. anxiety and things like that because you wake up and you just cannot do it Yep. that day. So then you just either have to figure out how you're going to make it through the day without your spoons or uh, you have to figure out what works yes. for you with the amount of spoons you have that day. Absolutely. Yep. Knowing mm -hmm. that there's not an endless amount. And it's kind of going with your canceled stickers of, mm -hmm. you know, some days you may be in a lot of pain or you were in a lot of pain yesterday and you're recovering today. Mm -hmm. So you have an event today and you can't go. Right. Because you just, you can't, you can't do it. Yeah. Two days in a row might be hard sometimes. Right. Yeah. And I try, you know, I try to still remain positive and do what I can do. And I am an extrovert. <laughs> I am an ENFJ. And so I, that gives me energy going out and doing stuff. And, um, sometimes that can help me yeah. even when I do have limited spoons to get out and at least do something, right. but to, you know, just respect my, my body. You have to find what works for you. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm still working through it too. Um, but then I've got some grid paper and then I do have just some plain paper. I like sketching mm -hmm. and um, just doodling and things like that. So it, it looks very plain now because it's 2020. Um, and then I still have a list for things that I still want to do and add in. This is this is basically my baseline of what I'm starting with for mm -hmm. 2020. So I think it's going to be an explosion of all kinds of things once I get going. <laughs> <laughs> once the year kind of goes. And exactly. You switch things out. 
And then I have some River Street stickers and Lemon and Honey stickers, and I do, um, I placed an order for my word of the year from mm -hmm. Lemon and Honey, which will be perspective. And so I'm excited to get that as well. I have a whole video that I'm going to be doing on this to explain Yay. the word of the year thing. But just to slip it in there, my word of the year is going to be simplify. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. And to throw it in too, Lemon and Honey, um, she, Pam, is also part of, not of our Marco Polo group, but she's part of our local Minnesota group. She's awesome. Mm -hmm. You should definitely check out her, her uh, shop, Beautiful Lemon and Honey stuff. Studio. And she's so great about doing, I mean... A custom with your word, the, that might not be easy to do, but I love her font. I love, and my word is kind of long, but right, yeah, she's, she's she made it work. Yeah, totally. And then I have, I, no one else besides me remembers rotary phones, but. Um. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> we still had one in my parents' house. Oh, wow. After I graduated. High okay. School. So that was, I don't, I can't math. 13 years ago? Yeah. They still had one as of like 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh, so, awesome. yeah. I remember it well from my parents. It was like this this off white. Yeah. So it was mine. Dirty kind yep. of tan color yep. and it well it probably started out as white at some point, but and then when you dialed the one wrong number and you had to hit the tap tap. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. And those were the days. But I love this. Um, and then just a notebook in the back. And then I am part of the Simply Gilded sub box. So and I get. I know. I love this one so very much. Um, and of course, rose gold once again, and then the rose gold rings. The rose gold rings. Which I love. So this is my 2020. Now, in addition to this, I do have a Hobonichi Weeks mm -hmm. for 2020 that I'm going to use for my wellness planner. So doctor's appointments, um, those types of things. And then I have a journal that I keep just a little tiny bit of daily journaling in. Um, what am I forgetting? I don't know. Those are my main <laughs> everyday carries. I have a little Kiki K kind of a, a purse planner. I don't know where you can. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, that I'm just going to write down like really quick dates um, that I want to remember if I don't happen to have kind of like an in inbox purse. kind of thing. Or... Yeah, an inbox for sure. So, yeah. So what I need to do to get ready for 2020 though is make sure my monthlies are done. Mm -hmm. And then my weeklies are good to go. And I will probably then just do my weeklies. I like I like planning at least once a week. Yeah. I like playing with stickers. Well, I like putting things together. I mean, I, I'm, I guess I keep assuming that people watched other videos and I have to stop assuming that. But if you watched the video with Christine, we kind of touched on this too. Mm. Where, and I think we might have on Kate's too, where um, a lot of people say like, how do you have time to do all this? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you, you make it a priority to spend time with yourself. Yeah. This is your me time. This is your, it could be even like a medit, not, not like a meditation, but it's just your like a weekly recap or weekly mm -hmm. setup to get yourself ready for the week or review your week. And it's kind of like your self care. Absolutely. In a sense, it's your me time. Agreed. Yeah. That's it's very it's for therapeutic me for me. Mm -hmm. Um, just to play around and, and just to have that time after the kiddos go to bed and, so that's why I wanted to definitely get my dated weeklies so that I know that I can write in black pen that on April 5th we're doing something, mm -hmm. but then I can decorate around it right. um, for on that week. So I'm really excited about that. But that means then I'm using just the Kiki K monthly inserts, um, month on two pages. So they're undated. Um, most of their planners, well, not most, but some of them come undated. Mm. So. Um, that's why I need to go back through and get this done before 2020 starts because I do not want to sit there and have to guess right. where each day is. <clears throat> so, yeah. Well, that's kind of my plan, too. I have undated on purpose. Mm. And I'm just going to write in all the dates because I find I can write smaller often than the font that I can get it to. Oh, sure. Or the font that they put it on. So I can, I just write real tiny Well, you numbers. have awesome handwriting. I do not, so. Uh, no. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I love your handwriting. I'd love you to just write stuff for me. <laughs> hey, maybe let's let's there do a switch. Swap. <laughs> you won't like how yours turns out, but I'll love how I mine does. Like how mine turns out. <laughs> I do really want to. I've talked to Pat about this. I really want to have him plan my week once. Oh, that would be amazing. Yep, and give him like I'm gonna be really mean about it. I'm not even gonna give him a pre-made kit. Yeah, you shouldn't. I'm just gonna throw some stickers at him and be like, here you go. Yeah. Well, and doesn't he have a TM? 
uh, a little tiny um, micro. Okay. That uh, he doesn't really use. It's just more for cutes. Okay. Because <laughs> my husband Scott, he has three TNs. Mm -hmm. So he's got two of the standard size, and then he has one that's a pocket. And I got him the pocket one for our wedding, so I had it embossed with his name on it. But mm -hmm. he. It, he surprises me. He'll go for a while without using them, but then I'll see him writing in them every once in a while. He does a lot of woodworking, so he'll oh, write down oh, I didn't know that. his woodworking plans. My um, kitchen table, he made. Oh, no The one way. we were sitting at. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> so he loves woodworking, but he has, always has to write down, you know, like, uh, how many inches and... Yeah, he, yeah, like measurements and yeah, stuff. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. And so huh. he uses it for that, which I think is great. That is really cool. Yeah. I actually have... It's off camera right now, and I think I showed it in the last video, but I have that white um, personal size rings right mm. there mm -hmm. that um, I actually gave to Pat because I don't, I got it in a mystery sale and I don't like it. Um, or maybe Cassie, no, I think I did. Um, I don't remember who got it, but I, I ended up with it. I gave it to Pat, and then Christine wanted to try personal yeah. rings, so I gave it to her because he wasn't using it. Um, and then she gave it back, and now I'm gonna. I can give it to him, but we. Uh, he really has no reason to need it. Yeah. So I'm like, but I want to make you a planner. Right. <laughs> Get it all set up, and he has no reason for it right now. So. Yeah, and he doesn't use any stickers or anything. Right. He literally, right. just jots down. One thing I did forget. So for 2020, um, as Shana knows, and probably p people who might know me that watch this, I'm a theater geek. So I go to theater, well, Scott and I go to theater probably at least once a month, typically. So I actually bought one of the Kiki K personal size at Michael's, because they have them at Michael's now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use it for um, writing down all of the plays we go see, as well as all of the movies we go see. Oh. And I bought some really cute uh, dashboards on Pumpkin Paper Co. Yeah. That, that's what it's called. And there's one where... Um, her character is wearing 3D glasses and holding a thing of popcorn. Oh, so that's cute. Be my movie section. And then there's another one that she has that says Drama Queen, and it has Perfect. her character holding a, or wearing a crown. So I'm going to mm -hmm. use that for all of the plays. And then just write my review or my thoughts of it. Okay, um, yeah, I was going to ask if you're going to, like, write. Yeah, because we post-process after we watch um, a play. We'll say, you know, the production was really good, or I love the set, or... And so yeah. it'd be nice to write those down and just remember that. Have you ever checked out... I, I have... I have to check out, I don't, I haven't shopped there, but I remember when Cassie and I went to Chicago Planner Conference, there was somebody there, I think our shop is an Actor Plans. Yes, I have some okay. of stickers. <clears throat> okay, because so yeah, she, I know she pretty. did a whole, like, when we went to the Planner Girl Chatter Live mm -hmm. podcast, she was there and was talking about her shop. I love it. So. I bought Wicked stickers, because I, I haven't seen that yet, but I'm going to see it. I bought Waitress stickers, because I've seen that twice. Mm. Um... I think Phantom I got as well, because that's always a classic. But yeah, I'm going to have fun with that mm -hmm. personal size. So personal size rings I'm going to try too. I'm moving all over the place right. for 2020. <laughs> this is so different for me. Um, I did know that I wanted to get away from discs, though. I love discs, and I actually use a tool for work. Oh, well, yeah. Um, it's handy at work. It is super handy. Mm -hmm. Just to insert things in, do a quick hole punch. Um, but I really wanted to get back to rings for my everyday carry, so... Mm -hmm. Here's Rings are so handy. They are. It really, really is. Because you can swap out whenever you need. Exactly. The only thing now I have to get used to is my mini happy planner will just go on a shelf, the cover, everything. But with this, it's just your inserts that go somewhere on I the know. shelf. I know. That's the hard part I have because I have... Let me get it. <clears throat> if I can find it. Oh, it's right here. So I got these... Oh. These rings... I wish I had bigger ones, but these actually, um, I had them purchase at work and then we didn't need them, so I took some. But I've got like all my dividers, and then I've got all my A6 inserts in here from last year. That's a good idea. And then I was, because this got so full, I have to have another one for my pocket size inserts. So I have them all ready and divvied out to have the rings. Because do you ever it. look back? Yeah, I do. I do, yeah. too. So I like to know, well, when was it last year that I blah, blah, blah? Right. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I like about bound and spiral books that are, like, even disc bound, you know, like, that they're one book for the year. Yeah. Because you can keep that one book for the year. Like, that's kind of my idea with the Hobonichi yes. is I can keep this one book as a memory. So then maybe I don't need to keep these for as long because I have everything basically in here. True. But... I want to at least, like, I have so many stickers in here. That I seems know. like such a waste to just throw it out. It does. 
there's got to be a way. I'm sure somebody has a really great idea and they're screaming through the right screen right Do now. Do this! <laughs> Can I say put it in the comments below if you find a good right, way? Yes. <laughs> I know. Be so. I think, I think it caught the end of our undo. I think it cut off at the end of our undo conversation. Undo's magical. That's yes. all you need to know. Undo's magical. So I use a, a mix of different stickers. Today I actually got this from my Secret Santa at work. Oh! I said to my coworkers, I said, when I find out who my Secret Santa is, I'm going to kiss him on the lips mm -hmm. because how did they know to get this and how did they know which ones I already had and didn't have because I don't have this one. Oh. And it's got all of the date covers. Lucky guess, I guess. Really lucky guess. All of the date covers, which is what I'm doing. So. I was really impressed with that my is impressive Secret Santa. I think if I did the Secret Santa and asked for anything planner, they'd be like, mm, "What yeah. do I do? Yeah, what, who, who what is, is this?" this? And what, yeah. And I will admit, a lot of the stuff I, I get for planners, I usually get on Etsy or you know yep. with a shop. Yep. So, but she knew. That's awesome. I gotta get this one off so I remember that. March 1st is a Sunday. Can you remind me in case I ask you in a second? March 1st is a Sunday. <laughs> Hopefully I remember that. I know, right? I'm having such a heck of a time. This is why I, so I'm getting to the age where with my glasses, I can't see up close without them. I can see up close, but then I can't see far away. Yep. So basically I'm having a hard time with some of these close up activities. That's why at the scrapbook retreat I went to a couple weekends ago, I just wore my glasses the whole time because I figured, well, I can take them off as I'm sitting down and then put them back on as I'm, you know, standing up to go get food or snacks or whatever. Right. So we need to have, we, I know we talked about it at one point, but we do need to have our, like, Marco Polo group retreat. Yes. Wouldn't that be so fun? That would be awesome. I would be on board. I would make it work. With whatever date we come up with. Me too. Does this go up here? That must. I just <clears throat> ripped my two. Maybe that's why they get. We were wondering why they give you an extra shamrock, and that's because you're gonna rip your two and you oh. need one. <laughs> I don't even. I'm having such a hard time because. For my 2020 Hobonichi, mm -hmm. I really like the kits. I really, really enjoy the kits from Style Planner and Shine Sticker Studio. Yeah. But I feel like it's such a waste, but at the same time, maybe it's not, because this is supposed That's to be my so memory. Cute. So maybe it's not a waste? I don't know. No, I think it's great. I love the hollow on that one. Wow. I know, right? I am a sucker for, for foil now. I never used to care about it, and then I'm like, no, no. Need. I need it. <clears throat> I found my really... See, I don't know where your camera is. <laughs> there you I go. found my really sharp X-Acto, finally. I, I... Was it you that showed me the slice tool? I, I keep saying it was you, and I don't remember if it was you. Well, I found out about this, I thought, from you. Oh, so okay, well then somebody else showed me the slice tool. It must have been... Was it Cassie? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't know who it was. Oh my gosh, I feel really bad. But it definitely will change your life. It the slice tool is amazing. Especially for those of us with young children who like to get into everything that we do. Oh yeah. I'm making like I'm I'm starting to look like I'm sick or something. <laughs> I see I do that all the time too. It just makes it easier than I don't have to rip it off every time. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, my two is looking real real upset with life, but that's okay. <laughs> Thing. Look there at us, go. half an hour in and we're, we're on to planning. I love it. Are we ahead or behind the game? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. It's, like, it's a mini meetup. Do what you need to do. There's sometimes when I go to a meetup and I don't do a darn thing. 90% uh, of the time I go to a meetup, I don't even touch my planners except to show somebody who asks to see my planners. Right? You have to bring them all just in case. I am that person who, you've seen it, I will literally bring every single planner and sample that I own just because I know what it's like to want to see it in person before you buy it. Right. So I bring them all. And I let people see, like, when I was really into Foxy Fix, I brought every single Foxy Fix planner I had. Love that. I was the recipient of one of your Foxy Fixes. 
Which one did you get? Well, um, actually I got two of yours. I got the yellow one. No, that one is a, isn't a Foxy Fix. What am I thinking? Um, but the blue one that you sent me, um, that has, what does it say in the front? I can't remember. I've got it in my purse because I actually, oh, sorry. I'm not a professional. Can you tell? I knock it all the time, so. <laughs> this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is just something I keep in my purse. And it's got dot grid. Um, quick notes, thoughts. I forgot about that one. Yeah. I've had so many Foxy fixes over my planner life that I just don't even know what I've had anymore. Which my... I did a spreadsheet to detail out every Foxy fix purchase I've made. Yeah. That was, that was painful. It was painful. I just lost my 25. Oops. Well, I'm losing all of the stems on my shamrocks, so... Oh my gosh, for real though, where did that go? Is it? It just fell like right here, but oh, I know. Is it under your book? I don't. <laughs> we'll find it on our socks later. Right? I guess I'm just gonna go without a 25. You'll find it. Oh, I found it. On 25? <laughs> <laughs> just hiding there. Oh, I, I moved my finger and I was like, oh, there's a thing there. That's hilarious. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't... These shamrocks are a little bit harder than I thought they would be to... Are they not, like, cut very nicely? Well, or? that and the stem is just... A pain? A pain. My poor number two here needs a lot of help. <laughs> see, this is where I take my glasses off. Yes, yeah. because now you can see... focus happening right now. Right. It's detailed work. <laughs> At least you're on camera so people can see what you're doing. Can they see my hat? Yeah. Or not? No. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know if I really did my hair to be camera ready. You're right. <laughs> One of these days, I want to get a face camera. That would be fun. I think it's, it, it just kind of would make the like meetup experience. Ex exp <laughs> Experience, experience, <laughs> experience that much more real is you would see our faces. Then that kind of sucks though, because then I feel like I need to actually be like prepared. I'm essentially wearing pajamas right now. Well, and that's so. one thing about a meetup is there's no pressure to dress up, right. to put makeup on. Right. To, you just come as you are. I still do anyway, just because it's like, well, I did anyway when I went to one because it was like the only time I used makeup. Oh, nice. Now I use it every day, so. I do too. I never used to. You don't need to. You're lucky. I, my face is very, I have the same kind of skin you do. The combination? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's so frustrating. You never know which day it's going to be. Yep. These are actually cuter than I thought they'd be. They are Because on really here cute. they look really puffy and kind of, I don't know, like more like a flower. Right. Oh, okay. So that, I love that October yeah. with the dripping. Right? This one's my favorite, I think. That's really pretty. Okay, so, good. so then this one. I'm trying to figure out my husband's paydays. Oh, yeah. Because he gets paid at a different time than I do. Our paydays are on the same day, and I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> you know, because you get it all at once versus oh, getting yeah. paid every week. Basically, if it would alternate. Ours, uh, I get paid by, or is it semi-monthly, or I think it's semi-monthly. Um, twice a month. Okay. And then he's every other Friday, so. Yeah, I'm every other Friday. I used to complain about it, and it would make me so mad, but then he showed me how he has to budget out his paycheck so far ahead, because he has to like save money from one check to pay a bill that's supposed to be on another check mm. and it just broke my brain trying to figure out how he does it and I just have I have the simplest budget I split all of my bills between two paychecks equally mm -hmm. completely equally so I put the exact same amount in my bills account every single month yeah and it's that's that's it I don't have to do anything else it's weird though when a Friday you know it's it's not I don't know how to explain it. 
you, you don't, it's not a certain date. It's yeah. a certain day. Yep. And that makes it more Yeah, tough. see, I get paid on the 15th and the 31st. Yeah. Or whatever day is a weekday before that. So I, I always know when I'm going to get paid. And I have four different kinds of paychecks, four different amount of hours of paychecks I can get. Oh. And I base it all off of the one, the lowest one that I get the most often. Oh, that's nice. So then if I have anything more than that, that's technically extra. Right. For stickers. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? Right. Because I'm right there with you. Every time I bring stickers home or get a package <clears throat> in the mail, Scott's like, really? Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> really. Mm -hmm. Is he going to watch this? I betcha. You can talk about him. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> He might. He might listen to it in the background as he's working. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> we still have not made your chili recipe, but I'm telling you, it is on my list. It's on my fridge. You should. So good. It's on my fridge. You know what he's doing today, actually? I totally forgot about this. He's making turkey frame soup from the turkey carcass from oh. Thanksgiving. It's so yummy. He does it with um, egg noodles. I don't think he's doing it in the Instant Pot, though. I think he does it on the stovetop. Um, Jamie and her husband are the entire reason I got my husband an Instant Pot. Yep. I bought it sitting at their kitchen table. And didn't it change your life? It totally did. I love it. <laughs> we, I'm, I'm a fan. We make yogurt. We boil our hard-boiled eggs. I mean, you can do so much with it. Mm-hmm. It's magical is mm -hmm. what it is. Oh, I think I have a whole lot of things going on in December, and I don't know if I've got enough, 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 with a TH, enough um, of these little things to market. So do you do different Christmases for different sides of the family, and... Yeah. <laughs> gets to be a lot. Yep. Well, my thing is I don't like doing stuff on Christmas Day. I want to do our own thing. I want to start our own family traditions, our own little family. Sure. So. Totally. Yeah. I have one, two, three, four different Christmases this year. Wowzers. One of them is daycare, though, so that was not so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fun, seeing all the kiddos. Mm -hmm. What about you? We, um... Yeah, so we do Christmas Eve at my parents, and then we go to Scott's parents on Christmas Day. Oh, okay. So it works out really well. And then we do kiddo Christmas somewhere nestled between that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not, it's not really that bad. Like, we don't have it. It's four, but, you know, one's daycare. One's my immediate family, so that's like they're 20 minutes away. Yeah. So it's not like you have to go very far. That's nice. <clears throat> the other one is like an hour away, and the other one is like an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah. And do you stay overnight then, or? No. Hmm. No, it's... The one that's an hour and a half away is like just an, a couple hour thing, and then the one um, about an hour away is my extended family. And that's like an overnight thing, but we don't stay at the hotel. We go, we come home. Oh, nice. The rest of them are all like two hours away. So they get a hotel room. Kind of nice to get away. Then you don't have to do any of the cooking. Mm -hmm. and... Well, we still do, we do like a potluck. Oh, sure. Yeah. I had enough. Yay. Oh, no. Exactly or no? Oh, oh. darn. Wait, I st yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to miss one. I'll just have to combine one. That's fine. Still kind of have enough. Good enough. So already my March is going against my whole like watercolor illustrative look, but <laughs> I think I still like it. It's pretty wild, but mm -hmm. it's cute. We're so focused. I know. I have a feeling though, I'm not going to probably use all of these for the rest of the year. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to want to kind of change it up. And then I noticed too that my holiday stickers in here, which are great, like you can put in birthdays and anniversaries and yeah. stuff. Um, but some of them are really big. Oh, yeah. So I'll have yeah. to figure out kind of what, what I decide to do or how I use them. I can use them on the weekly, I guess, versus the monthly. Oh, that's true. 
But look at that. I used a whole sheet. Yay! Boom! So do you ever keep those then and use them for nope. reusable? No, nope, because I have um, a whole set of 100 sheets of reusable that I bought off Amazon. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that's... Have you made a book yet? I started. Oh, nice. They're, I didn't have to cut them down. This is the size that they are. Oh, that's perfect. So, yeah, I've got some... And they're split the same way that my sticker storage is split. My normal sticker oh, storage. Oh, by theme? Mm-hmm. Nice. So, like, cleaning. Coffee. Because I have, have a whole thing of coffee and food. You can my have coffee, all my coffee stickers. <laughs> my coffee is separate from my food because coffee is a way of life. <laughs> Unless you're me. Right. Well, then, don't you drink... Or do you not drink tea? I drink tea, you yes. Drink tea. Okay. But not green tea. I only drink herbal tea. Ah. I don't that do still a, counts. Does it? Okay. Yeah, yeah I don't do a, much caffeine, so... That's smart. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Do you know, I was reading... This is totally random, but I was reading on an energy drink that this energy drink that had a lot of caffeine in it actually is 10 milligrams less than a cup of coffee. What? A cup of coffee is like 90 it's a lot, milligrams yeah. of caffeine, and this one was only 80. Well, K-cups can even be up to 120. Wow. Yeah. I, You know how, the kind of energy I already have. Can mm. you imagine if I were on caffeine? Boy. It'd be interesting. It would be. I think I'm going to add the Simply Gilded Hollow Foil is not quite as... Holographic? Hollow. Yeah, but it still works. My Simply Gilded um, stash is getting really big. Remember earlier this year even, I was like, oh, I don't have any Simply Gilded. And yeah. you were kind enough to give me my first Simply Gilded. And Sorry. you created a monster. <laughs> so I, It's funny because I stopped buying because I had more than enough. Yeah. I still have tons. And I find that I have just about the right amount. So yeah. I don't, I don't buy anymore. It truly, that subscription, when I open the box, it makes me so happy. Oh, yeah. It's a good subscription to have. So I even um, canceled my Ipsy. Oh, we yeah. were just talking about I it. I know. I really like my Ipsy bag, but between that and my FabFitFun, um, and then just things I pick up at the store, I don't need any more makeup. Yeah. The pouches are so cute. It's such a good idea to be able to try stuff, but I just need to... Maybe Rated I didn't cancel in. it. I like, put it on hold or something. Yeah, yeah, you can. I still have mine on hold. Yeah, because I thought, you know, the Simply Gilded, because you know my daily journal that I work in, yep. all of it, the whole month is decorated with whatever that Simply Gilded theme is for that month. Yep. And I love it. It's just my book for me. I don't want anyone to read what I write in there. But um, I don't know. It makes me happy looking at that. And I'm but, like, yeah. do I really like stickers and washi more than I like makeup and guess what the answer is yes yes <laughs> that is a solid yes no doubt about it so I'm not too sad about canceling or holding my ipsy that I miss my ipsy box but the thing is wow hi <laughs> good morning <laughs> um I actually found some really great products in there that I bought the like actual product of Yes, me too. But other than that, it was only like two things mm -hmm. out of the like four months I had it. And I'm like, yeah, that's not a good enough return that I'm liking two items out of all of these things. Right. Which it is relatively inexpensive. It is. So it's, it's like low, $10, right? Yeah, a little barrier to entry. But um, I did find, so I'm 43 and I finally found my lipstick and... Well, if yeah. anyone is watching this and wears lipstick, you know how hard, hard it is to find the actual color that you want to wear, use up the tube, buy again, and just have one lipstick. Yep. Maybe one lipstick and a couple glosses, right? And I finally found it in an Ipsy bag. So, to me, that's like, well, I can cancel now because I have yeah, my I'm signature done. lipstick. <laughs> oh. No. Uh... Are you losing 25s again over there? <laughs> no, no, I have... I do have a... I'm going to take this one off. Oof, does. Does this green look too bright compared to the other greens? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just needed somebody else to confirm that for me. I have... See, I love these little... The 5 millimeter. That's oh, probably my favorite size. 
And then I was going to use this Planner Society, but that's more turquoise than green. Oh my. Boy, you, you weren't There's kidding. more behind you and in front of you. Maybe so. this is the right color. I think this might be, it looks like almost the same color, but because it's matte, it matches better. Mm -hmm. I think I'll use that. Oh, wait, what is this one though here? Ooh, what if I do those two together? Ooh. That could be cute. Okay, I'm going to do that. Thank you. Yeah. I'm never going to use all this stuff by myself, so. I know, it's almost like you wish you could just buy washi samples. Right. You can. You can. I mean, there's, um, favorite daughter Emily does that. Oh, really? Yeah, she's uh, Emily from our Minnesota group. She yeah. does that. She has a little shop for it. Oh, well, why haven't I known about that? I don't know if she's still doing it, but she was. She didn't start it too long ago. That's a really neat idea. I've been selling a lot of stuff on Mercari. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just throw in, you know, even if it's like a little handbag or something, I'll throw in... A sheet of stickers I know I won't use there you go. or a roll of washi and who knows if they'll they might look at it and be like what the heck is this right. throw it away. but at least I feel like I'm giving it to somebody right <laughs> my D stash uh, for the next meetup is getting really full <laughs> I found a really cute Disney um, kit but I didn't find it until after both you and Cassie had gone. Oh. So I was bummed. It's super cute. So hopefully somebody in the group will be going to Disney soon. Not, not I. Hmm. No. Been there, done that. I don't know who that is. Somebody messaging you? I'm making a lot of noise with the cover of my... Oh, is that you? Oh, that's... Who is that? Oh, he can't hear me. Hmm. Is that... Do you know who that is? I know. No, then just ignore it. Oh, oh, I see. I thought Pat was behind me. I couldn't no. look. I was focusing so hard on this washi and laying it down. Yeah, this um, exacto thing is. I don't know how I lived without it. <laughs> So, how do you think this virtual meetup is going to go? That'll be fun. I, I don't know. I hope it goes well. I think it's such a cool idea. Why didn't we think of it before? I don't know. <laughs> I, I just... Want... I think, I don't know. Hopefully it goes okay. And wonder... not with too many issues. <sighs> right. I wonder if anyone else is doing them. Probably. It seems the way of the world to be on Skype and WebEx and live streaming and all that good stuff so what we're talking about is you know we have this Marco Polo group which I've explained Marco Polo before but in case you haven't seen my other videos Marco Polo is an app it's a video chatting app so basically it's like a group chat but you can literally have videos or text if you can't do a video and you can watch it at your convenience and you can respond at your convenience it is super great Jamie's actually the one who told me about the app mm-hmm so we got a group of us together, and we've been, um, this was in, like, April, I think, yeah. that you told me about it, and we've been going pretty ham since. Um, it's awesome. It is, like, the only friend interaction I get. Well, it's daily or whenever you're able to, and the nice thing is it's not like Snapchat where it deletes after 24 hours. Yeah, it hours. stays there, unless so, you delete it. Yeah, if you're on vacation and you want to come back and sift through the... Well, some, somebody came in and were, they were like, there are 540 yeah. videos I have to catch up on. I am not catching up on that. I always say, can you give me the Cliffs Notes? Right. <laughs> give me a brief synopsis, please. But that's the cool thing is that if somebody's not on for a while, they can just dip in, dip out. We have, like, some pretty um, cool, not rules, but, you know, if somebody says something that maybe they're having trouble with or whatever and the next person didn't watch that video... And just goes on to show, you know, like a sticker haul or something. We're not going to say, hey, you should have replied back to this person right. first. Or... Right. It's not, it's not being insensitive. We just understand that maybe you haven't caught up on all the videos. Right. 
So everybody kind of catches up at their own speed. And it's really cool because you can kind of see the little marker of people's faces as they catch up. Mm -hmm. So you can see what video they left off on. So there's literally proof that, although if they, I suppose if they jump in um, yeah, I think and record it, one, it skips them ahead. But yep. still, like... And it's, I mean, Marco Polo is definitely, it's not a perfect science. They right. they have some improvement they can do on the app. It eats my battery like crazy. Right. The, the only, because I made the welcome message for the group, and the, I said that the only rule is to be kind. Yes. That's the only rule, just to be kind to one another, and that's really all we need. We are a very open, judgment-free zone. Mm -hmm. We try to treat each other with respect, and if we have an issue with each other, we try to kind of take it, or we're going to try to take it offline and mm -hmm. deal with it individually, or... You know, if you feel more comfortable having somebody kind of mediated or whatever, but because obviously we're people, things happen. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's, it's like, like I said, it's like the only friend interaction I get every day. Mm -hmm. So it, it's like my favorite thing yeah. to be able to keep in touch with everybody. But so we have done a meetup at Jamie's house. Gra Jamie graciously let us all come over Yay. to her house. I want to do it again. I love your house. Um, so I'm game. <laughs> Um, I just like having everyone over. It was so much fun. Just getting to sit around and chat in person with these people that we talk to every day. We see each other, our faces, but there's just something different about a virtual face-to-face -face versus an in-person face-to-face. Totally. So, um, but we were talking about maybe having like a, um, monthly planner meetup, but via like Skype. Mm -hmm. because we just can't do monthly we're all kind of scattered around the twin cities and suburbs so it's hard for us to all get together especially once a month so i mean we still want to sprinkle in face-to-face -face meetups but i think to kind of have time where we focus on each other we're gonna do some virtual meetups on skype and just have like a group video yeah chat. and i it, we haven't done it we haven't even picked a day for it, but I'm excited for it. Well, and just think, too, if there's, like, a snowstorm or yeah. we don't have to cancel, we still, because we're all just in our PJs at right. home. <laughs> right. Which we we have seen each other on some pretty oh, bad days. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> you guys saw me right after my surgery. You'd be the only people that I would allow to see me. You were still, you were still oh. like, you were fresh out of your surgery yes. that first video. And I don't even think, I think the first video, first few videos, you didn't even remember what you said. No. And Cassie says, like, responded to something because she thought it was funny. Yeah. Because it was. I, or I was maybe it was so Je out of Maybe it. it was Jess. I don't know. It was the state of a state. Yes. Thing. <laughs> I was saying the state. It's a state of a state. Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> We have a Google Sheet. Ooh, I'm bumping the camera. We have a Google Sheet. I can't say Google, by the way, properly, if I'm saying it fast. Um, we have a Google Sheet where we keep, um, like, when we did this meetup at Jamie's, we kind of did, like, little stations where, like, one person taught crochet, one person taught monkey fist, um, char or book bookmarks. Like leather, <laughs> yeah. Um, we had the idea to do dividers that never actually happened. <laughs> Even though I hauled my cameo. Oh, I, <laughs> I know. I forgot about it. We ran out of time. We did. Well, we were chatting for so long after the book binding was done. Mm hmm So, um, it was really cool. I totally forgot where I was going with that. Um, well, we had a meetup, and we did all the different things. Yep. And, yep. It was awesome. It was cool. <laughs> yep, that's, that's right. <laughs> It was really, really fun. Totally lost my train of thought. But, um, yeah, no, it was just really super, super fun to be able to get together and learn what skills everybody has. Mm -hmm. um, and we even did, like, a, a mini meetup at Albertville, um, which you don't know what that is because you're probably not from Minnesota. <laughs> it's a local <laughs> outlet mall. <laughs> really fun place, which um, I had to miss that one. I was that's bummed. true. I for, yeah, I forget. Um, it was me. You guys all did some damage. Got we handbags did. and... I got my coach purse there that I'm not using anymore. <laughs> oh, what a bummer. Yeah, I'm using a $40 Target bag again. The reason I went to do the coach purse was because I was sick of the $40 Target bags. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was like five of us that went, and we just walked around the Outlet Mall and hung out, went to go have coffee and plan, and 
So we even have done little... There we go. <laughs> it cut out while we were doing that. So um, yeah, it's nice to randomly get together when everyone, you know, or even when everyone can, but some people can. Right. There's a, there's a couple, um, couple of us that get together one-on-one. -on -one. Um, there's a couple of us that get together in, you know, a smaller group, or we get together as a whole group, or we don't get together at all yeah. for a while. It's just really nice to have, like, a group of friends that, I mean, personally, <clears throat> This group of people has seen some pretty rough moments. Yes. From me. Well, from me, from everyone. Right. Like, we we literally share the dark and dirty. Like, <laughs> yeah. But we've established that friendship, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. That was very uneven. It's nice to have a place where you can literally just either vent, air it out, get some opinions, mm -hmm. share your happy moments, share your sad, your upset, your every kind of feeling moments, and know that you're not going to be judged for it. If you say something out of place, somebody may call you out, but in a respectful way. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's okay, because we all want to be better people. Yeah, and we, I think, so... I guess kind of going back a decade, I probably already told you the story, but for some odd reason, Cameron and I, my son and I went to go roller skate and I saw all these people who you knew they were there every Friday and Saturday. They were roller skating. They had all of the equipment. They had like mm -hmm. the big pom poms on their roller skates and everything. And they just looked like they were having such an amazing time. And the bond was roller skating. Like the bond can be anything. Yeah. And for us, um, you know, some of us are introverts, some of us are extroverts, mm -hmm. some of us have different thoughts, but well, we all have different thoughts right. and opinions. But we I stand on different sides of certain yeah. spectrums kind of a thing. Yeah. But it's, it comes down to, we all came together with this common thing that we enjoy doing and whether it's Hobo Weeks or A5, I mean, even just the way we plan is right. so different oh, one yeah. to the next but that we could come together with this one kind of commonality or thing that we mutually enjoy. And I've learned so much from everyone in the group and mm -hmm. from, I've learned, like I said, I mean, I didn't even really think twice about, okay, what planner style do I like? What size do I like? Like I was just buying planners because, 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 <laughs> and I never really thought twice until I started seeing and I guess it's different. I mean, you can go and do a lot of research on planners, but like, like you said, you bring all your planners and we can mm -hmm. touch them, feel them, you know, try them out, that sort of thing. And really see somebody plan day to day and how, um, differently they do it. Or you take just one idea and mm -hmm. use it or, and it just has brought us so close that, I mean, I feel like I could honestly tell you guys anything. I think that whole planner friends make the best friends. It's, yeah. It's yeah. so true. It is. Yeah, when you find, you, when you find your people, mm -hmm. the people that just, like, you vibe together so well, which mm -hmm. we really have, it's like, I didn't know this existed. I've yeah. never had this before. No, me neither. Even in high school, like, I had a really solid friend group, mm -hmm. but I still never had this. Right. So it just, it, to have a place where I can go and, and show any kind of side of myself mm -hmm. and to have such a supportive group of people yeah, is just, I've never experienced that before. Ever. Because let's face it, life is not easy. No. So if you have a good support system, mm -hmm. that helps you so much. It's helped me so much mm -hmm. just knowing that I could come on to a video and just vent or just right. share. Yesterday I was crying on the video, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it happens. So. I don't know how many times I have cried on this app. Yeah, but it is pretty cool. So if everyone takes one thing out of this is start a Marco Polo group. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or go, go to a local meetup. Meet some people. Yes, definitely. I have a video of me not going to a meetup for an entire year. And the moment I went, I regretted it. Not Red, going. Not going. Yeah, yeah. I, no, that's came out really wrong. <laughs> the moment, the moment I, regret I regretted it, that I regretted it. Went. I regretted not going for that whole year. Yeah. Because I just was like, I could have found these people sooner. Yeah. And I could have been happy sooner. Yeah. Ugh. 
I waited though too, and I know you don't remember, but you were the first person I said hi to at a planner meetup, and I thought, wow, I don't, I don't know about what, you know what's going on here. And we started, um, who did the lettering, Lama, uh, Cindy, yeah, Cindy. Yeah did a lettering thing through Skype and... Oh, that was the planner heart out. Yeah, yeah. And you and Jessica sat mm -hmm. next to me and I was like, these are my people. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> yeah. We had a good time. It was so fun. So I think this is my March because if I go too crazy, I'm going to look back and not like it. What right. do you think? Well, and especially because you're going to be writing a black pen, that's nice that you won't have too many colors going on now. Yeah. So it'll be, it'll even out once you start writing stuff in. Is it too crazy? No. Kind of. Oh, uh, with the wall, with all the white, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, once you fill it in with yes. stuff, it'll completely like that, even out. Yeah. yeah. And then I had to cut the sticker <clears throat> down, but I don't think you. And you can tell she's still wearing a shamrock, and she's got this little pug. Right. It looks like it was meant to be that way. Yeah. Yay! I like it. Absolutely. Here's mine. Love yeah. it. We don't have to do a flip through That's because we cute. just have yeah the one. That's funny, though, that we both ended up doing monthlies. I know. Which, normally, I don't look at my monthly. Okay, I never used to look at my monthlies. Mm -hmm. In my happy planner, I hardly ever look at my monthlies. But since I'm going to be using them in such a different way now, right. and they're predated, and I have everything I need, I think I'm going to use my monthlies a lot more. Yeah. So oh, I can imagine, yeah. It'll be fun. I am still, even though I did a whole video on it, I think I am still kind of adjusting my planner system. Really? Yeah. Well, I uh, I brought that tool into the mix. Yeah. After I did my video detailing out what pocket inserts I was going to do, and then I printed the pocket inserts. Yeah. And now I've got some of those inserts in my tool. Yeah. See, like, that's the nice okay. thing. Someday, so there's a lot of things I'll do in planner ring, but I have not printed. Just never have. And someday I'm going to have to learn the secrets to printing because I think being able to have printables. It's so handy. It's super handy because you can change on a dime. Yep. It's a, it's a, it's a blessing and a curse, but yeah. True. It's, I find it to be more of a blessing than a curse because there are certain things I get that you shouldn't have like the instant gratification for, but this is one of those things where I just do not want to pay shipping for something that I can make myself. Totally. So I only do printables now. Yeah. But. And so for my weeklies, which I'm really happy about, and these came all the way from, I think Irene Plans is in Ukraine or Russia, but um, it's really, yeah, it's really mm. nice paper. And I just go and touch your planner, like, <laughs> you know, you could, oh, and you didn't let me hug your Giglio yet. See, you're not even paying the tax. That's true. For being my friend. She has That's to true. let me hug her Giglio at least once when we see each other. Because I love that thing. I used to do that to other people, too. <laughs> it's See, that's so, that's why we so, get along. <laughs> so, well, it's just gonna, we're going to sneak that guy in there. Anyone else that I'd be like, yeah, I hug my friend's planner every time I see her, they'd be thinking that I had too many screws loose. They're right. <laughs> <laughs> but we get it. So, yeah, I'm excited about these weeklies. So, we'll see. Hopefully, I stick with them through the whole year. With all the things that all of us in our group are doing slightly differently mm -hmm. in our like I even Cassie's doing something slightly different because mm -hmm. I, I was gonna be like well she's kind of doing the same no she's even doing something slightly different we're all kind of doing something slightly different and I'm super excited to see how it works for everybody yeah and we are different from ourselves and different from each other yeah. so you could think if somebody's in a group where you talk all day every day that you start to morph into the same type of person right. <laughs> But we don't. We don't, no. We all have different sizes, different layouts, different themes, different... Well, even when we take the same idea, we do it differently. Yes. So it could be the same idea of we all use an A5, but we all do it so differently. Or like when we did book binding um, that my mom taught at our meetup, everyone did their book slightly different size, different paper, different thread mm -hmm. and it was using all the same materials but completely different mm -hmm. projects and that's what I love do you remember and we have to do this maybe the next time we get together where we get a list of things here's an idea for you yes. idea did I just say idea here's You're an from idea Boston. it's okay <laughs> an idea for you <laughs> for future meetups or whatever mm -hmm. get a list of items like five items types of items and then you can say like so three 12 by 12 pieces of paper, mm -hmm. scrapbook paper, and 
a sheet of stickers and something else and then make something. Yes. You get the same type of items, different themes for like what you want, mm -hmm. but you make, maybe you all make a dashboard mm -hmm. or maybe you all make something different. But I thought that was so cool to see how people do things differently with the exact same items. Yes. I just, oh, I love that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's fun. I love, I love people's minds and the different ways that people think and put things together. Mm -hmm. What everybody thinks looks good to themselves. Right. Like, I think that, I find that so fascinating. Yeah, you're probably looking at my March thinking, holy Toledo, that's a lot of green. Holy but Toledo. When I look at it, I'm like, oh, that's pretty. It's cute. I think it's cute. I, I think it's cute. So. I really like the washi. That's actually probably my favorite part. Well, and thank goodness I was here because I used your washi. Because right. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't going to work mm -hmm. at all. So, yeah, I like it. Awesome. Well, this has been really fun. Mm -hmm. I love these. This is my favorite thing. I know. Like, we're having a meetup. Yeah, we are. But it's going to be documented. <laughs> yeah, we can go back and, and live in infamy. Hopefully next time we do another planner meetup, I can actually have a camera that's going to be a little more stable for video taking. Ooh. The, the last time I remember I brought my video camera and yeah. it was so unstable I couldn't use the footage. Oh, darn. I used a little bit of it, but it was awful. The lighting was awful. Not your lighting. Yeah. The lighting on my camera was awful. Oh, shoot. And if I did anything or if I panned too fast, it was like you were on a roller coaster. Oh. It was awful. You don't want to make people sick. Cause I actually had to slow that video down. Oh, okay. The video that I took, it was awful. So hopefully next time I have a better camera. Well, it just means that you have to come over to my house again and have another meetup. Yay. I love your house. Aw. So I'm fine with so that. Sweet. I love it. <laughs> But anyway, I think we're done. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming over. Awesome. So, um, Jamie does have, oh, my screen just went, okay. Um, Jamie does have an Instagram. I will drop that link below. Oh, thank you. Um, you do not have a YouTube. I do right? not. Yeah. I watch a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, no, I'll drink, drop the, what are you going to drink? I'm going to drink. <laughs> It's just, I'm just gonna drink. I will drop the link for her Instagram below. Thank you. For Thank coming. you. This was awesome. I love this. Is like I I don't know how I'm gonna do this once we've gone through it because like the last you were the last one. Okay. Oh, and then Steph's gonna come on too, and then Cassie's gonna come back, and Kate's gonna come back. I will come back if everyone wants me to come back. <laughs> I have had absolutely nothing but positive responses to this. Oh, so. good. Um, my battery's low. I need to wrap this up. Um, yes, so I don't know if we're just gonna keep rotating people. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. I don't care because I enjoy this. I love it. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Wow, my brain just like <laughs> stopped. <laughs> if you want to know when I post, hit the little bell for notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.